folks, it's Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Tuesday. Who the hell knows? Oh, I don't remember anymore. Uh, it's Saturday night, folks. You know what this is. This is Murder Hobo Inc. Thanks for joining us. Tonight is a one shot, uh, even though we've got three familiar faces and one brand new face, uh, even though Kyle's not even here because it's kyle uh follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want something cool like this brand new sweatshirt uh our craps down there if you want to join us in discord uh the link is down there most importantly if you want to join us on a one shot or on the talk show m hobo inc twitter gmail shoot me a line i'll i'll try and get you in there uh Jesus. <laughs> uh, every night is an adventure. Uh, folks, we'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice for giving us dice that roll too high. And of course, oddfishgames.com. Oddfishgames.com will be running How to RPG with Your Cat uh, tomorrow, 1030. It is free, but you do have to sign up. So check our Twitter page for the link. That's oddfishgames.com. Or you can go to their website. Uh, they also make adventure sense so that if your game stinks, you can make it smell better. Uh, before we get into what's going on here, let's go ahead and introduce you to the cast. We'll start with David. David. Oh, crap. <laughs> surprise, 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 surprise. Surprise. <laughs> Hi, I'm David. I'm usually uh, can be found here uh, on Tuesdays a lot on BTR. Uh, I'm also in the Thursday show, uh, our Adventures in Cacophony and um sometimes here so on <sighs> saturday nights so anyway that's me what are you playing oh oh yes i'm playing devalian he is uh uh Azimar devotion paladin so perfect for tonight <laughs> great paladin i'm Those gonna break awesome. my oath <laughs> uh next up is carol carol you know the drill I do, and I realize I forgot part of the drill because I forgot to change my name. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I and hate this group. Wow. <laughs> wow. My name is Carol. I'm a commission mini painter, longtime gamer, sometime GM. Uh, tonight I'm playing Rania. I will try anything once, uh, my rogue. And um, no, I don't dare actually touch my screen to change the name because I will likely screw up the cameras and I don't want to do that. That don't. just puts more effort on Again. me, I suppose. Uh, sorry, guys. I mean, I can try and see if it won't. But uh, you know, you're, you're fine. I'll be able to remind, remember. Bleh, remember. I can't uh, even talk today. Uh, <laughs> next up's Kyle, Mr. Green Screen himself. All right, I'm Carl. Take take, take your time, Kyle. Take your got time, Kyle. Of time. Thank <laughs> you. Hours. I'm getting a little parched oh, here. <laughs> we have until you know, like Jesus. We watch it to last till eleven o'clock. You know what, guys? We started early, and I would like to thank our wonderful producer, uh, who also happens to make pirate dog dice. If you think you're rolling like shit, get pirate dog dice, dog poop dice. Ooh, I threw my trash in my drink. That's terrible. <laughs> Don't worry, the alcohol nice. will clear it out. That's called karma. <laughs> no. Uh, and I will be playing the barber surgeon, uh, Teddy Sod. His skin was pale. His eyes were odd. What? I don't know. Again, you guys don't watch Sweeney Todd or know anything God, about musicals. Yeah. The last mm. person who got it was Blake, but Blake isn't here anymore. I miss him. I'm going to drink this now. I thought you were Johnny Depp. Uh, last but certainly <laughs> not least, the individual who's probably rethinking all of his decisions today to join us is Travis. Travis, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us who you're playing tonight, please. Yeah, my name is Travis. Um, I am at, at GM underscore Travis underscore on Twitter. Uh, and uh, I usually usually stream with uh, Anthony from Talon and Claw and uh, a couple other people. Um, on Sundays, we do Sea of Thieves on the Talon and Claw Twitch stream. I've seen um, <laughs> But otherwise, I've been a, a DM for multiple games over like the past six years or so. And I've been gaming and doing a whole bunch of stuff like that for my whole life. So um, tonight, I'm going to be playing uh, Tygarn Hellcrawl. He's a Goliath druid. <laughs> um, he used to be a Marine. He didn't quite like that lifestyle and... Uh, kind of re retired from that a little bit early 
and now lives a much more chill vibe. So it should be uh, should be interesting tonight. A awesome. chill former Marine. That should be interesting. That mm, yeah, that's that really quite happens. fit. Uh, and on <laughs> Sundays, really... what time is uh, your stream? Um, let's see. I believe Sundays from 8 p.m. until 10 p.m. Central Time. Um, and it's at Talon N. Claw um, on Twitch. There you go, folks. So tune in tomorrow night. Take a look at that. Uh, folks, tonight, again, it's one shot. We've named it uh, Delivery Into Danger. Uh, and if you didn't see the intro, I'll go ahead and bore the crap out of you with it again. Uh, with your recuperation in the border city of Canis complete, you and your associates weigh your options for furthering your careers. Jobs are plentiful as there is a military conflict in the disputed zone somewhere probably along the 38th parallel. Uh, and that has pulled most of the able-bodied individuals male and female, uh, into the fight to die for somebody else, which is not what you guys do. You gather your belongings and opt to head to the Sagan Wastes, which is in that general direction, but you are stopped by a kindly old spinster holding a cane and looking very cookie-making kind, and she says, may I trouble you for a moment of your time? Do you want to push the old bat aside and go on with your business, or do you want to hear what the old lady says? Well, of course, I'd love to hear what the old lady says. She As Bucky I'll was muted. Was. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Kyle would just kill her. Uh, she approaches you quickly despite her age and you pause for preparations greeting her. She points out that she has no time for pleasantries. She is a kind of direct old battle axe who it gets right to the point. Uh, she asks if you guys are headed east towards the Sagan Wastes. Uh, I, yes. Why well, yes. Yes we I are. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's hard to breathe with this mask on. <laughs> it's gonna be a long freaking night uh, she notices that you don't have any mounts and that could be a problem she says i might be able to help you if you help me do you have well, a battle cow what is it you want us to do <laughs> she has four battle oxen Ooh, Ooh upgrade wow. <laughs> That's right. Uh, she, she points out that her grandson, Teddy Smith, uh, has been shipped off to the front lines in the desert. And while she trusts the leader of the military because she is foolish, she worries for the health of her grandson and wishes to send him a special family potion of sweet water. She asks if it would be possible for you to deliver it. Seeing the glint in Teddy Sod's eye, she points out that unlike normal potions, this requires special handling uh, to further prevent you from just hijacking it and leaving. Uh, she will trade you just a few hours of your time uh, for four battle oxen, if you deliver this potion to Teddy Smith on the front lines. So now it's saving Private Smith. <laughs> yes. <So. laughs> there you go. I thought it would take longer than that, but here we are, folks. There we are. <laughs> and all of you are Vin Diesel. I'm going to kill you as <laughs> soon as I can. Yeah, yeah, within the first five minutes. <laughs> I like around Randy and Smith, we'd be happy to do this for you. Yeah. Yes. Sounds easy enough for me. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Uh, she leads you over to the stables and true to her word, for some reason, these battle oxen are quite furry with, for lack of a better term, dreadlocks on. Oh, uh, no. No, I hate dreadlocks. They're dirty. Being an arid environment, uh, you are kind of puzzled, but she points out that the dreadlocks allow heat dissipation to move faster, and these animals will not overheat. They have been well-fed, well-watered, well-cared for. You notice that each of them has uh, what could pass as a rudimentary saddle and tack, uh, and there are also two water bladders attached to each. She says, all you have to do is deliver this box to Teddy. He will read the note 
and he will reward you with something else. Ooh, Easy okay. peasy. Yeah, it should be. Should be what nice. kind of something else? That would spoil the surprise, my friend. Oh, we love surprises. There you go. Meanwhile, Ty goes over to the oxen and just like starts like petting him and getting just really close, just starting whispering to him, just talking. It's like, hey, bro, give me what's uh, up? animal handling at advantage, Druid. <laughs> <laughs> Here's where you get poop on your boots. Uh, 17. They like you. Uh, the oh. dreads feel very silky, not uh, Rastafarian at all. Hmm. Digging this hairstyle. I'm liking it a lot. The uh, particular mount that you have chosen turns around, looks you deep within your eyes, and says, Moo. Uh, (laughs) What do the other three want to do? And who wants to hang on to this box containing the potion bottle? I will go ahead and gladly hang on to it, and I'll put it in my uh, doctor's bag. And then I'll notice one. sound decision. (laughs) Absolutely. Yeah, because I don't think it probably should go to me. Or maybe, maybe Ty, Ty is it again? Ty, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ty. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, either you or Ty would have been my choice. <laughs> Suck up. Get broken. Hey. Uh, Teddy Sod hijacks the potion while Ty goes ahead and makes friends with his new mount. That being said, Granny Smith wishes you a safe journey and says, please tell her beloved Teddy. She said hi. Um, everybody roll animal handling to see if you fare as well as Ty did. Oh, boy. Can I do a quick thing? Sure. Uh, can I can I cast speak with animals? Sure. And just start talking to the battle ox and just being like, all right, guys, don't worry. They're super chill. Everything's <laughs> going to be fine. You know, they've been riding mounts since they were little kids. Don't worry about it. Just, just, just roll with it, you know. Peace. I will give everybody and... advantage. Oh, good. Oh, no good. Terrible roll. <laughs> Twenty-two. Oh my friggin' god! Nope, that was a four with advantage. I rolled a four and a three. Nice. Hey. Anybody want to uh, trade mounts with Carol? <laughs> no. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually there, balancing the humors <laughs> out in uh, my war ox by attaching leeches. Uh, just to make sure the blood flow is going to be proper, you know? Wow. Friggin... So you could have that. <laughs> uh, Teddy, your cow turns around, watches you apply leeches to it, and says, Shazul for all you family guy fans out there. <laughs> French cow. Oh. Uh, everybody loads up. Carol's mount uh is uh, anti-feminist and doesn't much care for uh, Rainia. Uh, it is going to be a rough ride, Rainia. I hope oh. you like bruised butthocks. Uh, uh-huh. and- uh, oh. <laughs> That's circumstances. I'm not doing lay on hands for that. So. Yeah, you, somebody, somebody will lay hands on that. <laughs> Gritty sand oh and God. undulating dunes with strange plant life greet you as you venture into the Sagan Wastes to meet up with the military, probably General Carl. Uh, the harsh desert has very little amenities, and it will take you three days to reach the front lines, so you must carefully choose your water. Uh, the first day of travel will lead you through a series of high canyon walls. Carol, uh, Rainia, D12 against me. Oh, boy. Seven. Let's see. Where's my D12? There it is. Uh, oh, oh, seven. Reroll. Seven right. again. Six. Day one, Carol takes eight hit points of damage as she is bucked from her oh. ugly yak wow. seven times. Uh, you make camp at a recent campsite. Who wants to uh, keep an eye out for the evening? Well, I think we're going to take shifts. Fair enough. Who wants one? Who wants two? Who wants three? I can't one. hear you, Kyle. <laughs> What the heck does that mean? I'll take the first one. Besides, I need to grab some of this dung from the oxen to make some ointments. Awesome. 
Who wants second shift? I'll nice. take second. Ty uh, takes second. Right. Who wants Rainia? Rainia I'll takes take the last. It's fine. It's fine. I can't see real uh, great in the dark anyway. So Deadline, you get the night off. Uh Teddy. Oh, <laughs> oh, only three? What we can't do four watches? Sure, make it make it difficult on me. Everybody roll a D eight, please. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, not really, but sorry. Uh, eight, oh, three. Sorry. Four. Holy shit. Teddy? I'm trying to read this dice. I <laughs> think it's a three. Is it a pirate dog? <laughs> uh, not, not a D8. It's not, not yet. Uh, the night passes uneventfully. All four of you uh, gather your mounts who are slowly chewing on their own cud and don't seem to care. Uh, since everybody else passed, uh, Rainia, animal <laughs> handling again, this time normally. because I will go ahead and help her with this as I attach it, some leeches to her oxen oh my to God. balance out its humors. That's not going to uh, help. Straight up uh, roll. Gosh, I thought you really were going to help. Maybe and I'll go over and do guidance. I was so you can add a, a D4 to your ability check. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's okay. Well, at least it's a 10 now. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's going to help you not a lot. Day two <laughs> finds you in... Uh, by mid-morning, the landscape changes significantly. The winding tunnel gives way to a very large canyon. Think Arizona. Large dunes and rock formations litter the enormous gap, and the confined path you traveled yesterday opens up into a high stone wall surrounding the entire area. A faint smell of smoke wafts towards you and your associates. Give me perception checks, please. Uh, all right, I'm going to fire this die. Jeez, 13? Uh, 12. Uh, Ty is the only one that notices a slender plume of smoke just over a rise ahead of you. The mounts, not known for their intelligence, seem to plod along unless you stop them. Uh, Ty, you also notice that there is a set of sandy dunes that might offer a vantage point to see who or what is responsible for the smoke. All right, I'll uh, I'll call out to everybody. And be like, "Hey guys, there's something over there. I think we should probably take a look off by those dunes before we go any further. We don't want to be surprised, you know." That sounds fair. Rainia, dex <laughs> check. Dex check. Yep. Not for stealth, right? Nope. Oh my god, they're both. Well, all my dice are gonna be bad tonight. That's a ten. Good news, uh, your yak doesn't like you, and you're going to take four hit points of damage as it bucks you off. Uh, your right. butt is now starting to match the field stone in the canyon. Ty, as you dismount and uh, stealthy go on up towards the hills, you notice uh, that there is an old wagon that is on fire. There seem to be dead bodies surrounding it. Uh, and you are in the middle of this enormous canyon. There does not appear to be anybody around. So uh, give me a insight check, Ty. Insights. Uh, dirty 20. <clears throat> you notice that it, is, it seems to be a military wagon of some kind that was set ablaze. But again, peering around. No signs of who or what is responsible for it. Hmm. And if, uh, so this is from uh, further away, right? Yes. It's about, uh, eh, let's call it uh, 600 yards. Okay. All right. Um, well, if there's nothing around, uh, as far as I can see, then I'm probably going to start crossing the distance there as much as I can. Is it just open? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, tell everyone and I'll go ahead and cross the distance and start heading towards it just to see if there's anything we might be able to salvage or mounted pursue. or not I would, um, I'm off I'm, I definitely don't <laughs> mounted all right um, I think I'll, I'll 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 go back on so that I can have a quick escape if I need to because sure. my uh, my mount seems to like me 
war oxen are known for their speed and agility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toughness, you know, whatever. What? <laughs> Who is following him? <coughs> Me. Uh, okay. No, oh, no, well, no, that's, oh, no, if you want to go first, that's fine. I, yeah. that's fine. It, there's plenty of room. Yeah. There's yeah, plenty of room. <laughs> you're in the Grand Canyon. Nobody gives a shit. There, it's it's not single file or anything. You got plenty of room. There, it's football field after football field of nothing here. But this and there's not there's no way I can stealth, right? Really? <laughs> you 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 may try. Just hang on the underside of your war oxen, so it just looks like a new, yeah, exactly <laughs> unwritten war oxen. Well, I would have rolled a twenty four. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet. With the sun behind you, you believe that you can approach with a giant war oxen in tow, unseen for some reason. I would believe the war oxen here, but I guess if we have to go that far away, I guess I'd take it with me. Well, you can leave it here. I don't care. It's only two football fields, and it doesn't like you anyway. I mean, (laughs) I mean, I guess I could. I'll have to come back for it. Or first it comes to worse, I'll ride with somebody. I'm not that good. <laughs> Kill oh. that thing for food. <laughs> uh, uh, Ty, D12 against me, please. All right. That was D12, yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, six. Not good enough. Uh, as you approach, you need to make a deck save as your war oxen uh, rears back for some reason. All right, 15. Uh, you managed to hang on to the thick, silky dreads, uh, but you notice uh, a dispersal pattern in the sand similar to that of a star. Everybody roll initiative who's up there with Ty. Rolling initiative. Come on, Kyle, sing it with me. <laughs> He's like, what? Oh, this time. Was my uh, and this is day two, right? Not day three? Day two. Day two. Okay. 15. 17. 17. Ty and Teddy. Oh, was I up there with them? It's up to you. I don't care. I know Ty is. Okay. (laughs) And Ty? Ty? Oh, sorry. (laughs) Yeah, Jesus. 16. 16. I thought I said it already. My bad. Uh, you might have. Uh, we talk over <laughs> each other a lot. Uh, how do I pronounce your name? Davalion? Davalion? But Davalion, hey, friends cool. call me Davalion. So. Davalion. Uh, Davalion and Teddy. Uh, perception rolls, please. Care, or, Rainia, you might as well make one as well. Okay. 30, 20. Uh, 17. Carol, what was it? Not 20 for a 24. Everybody notices a dispersal pattern uh, to the point of two locations directly blocking your path towards the, or the most direct path to the burning wagon. Uh, Nature checks to see if you know what these are. You need to be trained. Uh, DM, do you need to be trained? trained do i need 15. a proficiency for 20 i am proficient and it's a dirty 20 yeah i know who you are i'm not that's why i'm asking if i could roll I, well i rolled a and i rolled a 16 plus my nature three so 19 uh everybody knows that this is called a dust digger they are inverted octopi oh. uh kyle no i didn't actually it's a year old well, yeah exactly a year old didn't you write this uh, uh, last December? Oh, yes. Yeah, I wrote yeah, it. Okay. Uh, yeah, this was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it sounds so familiar. Huh? Yeah. Uh, but you guys don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, I know. It's been a while. So, Devalian and Teddy, you are up first. Uh, the Dust Diggers bar your path. I forgot that I made this on BTR. Yeah. Hmm. You're welcome. So this is nine months old. Oh, cool. Uh, Devalian and Teddy, you're up. Two dust diggers. Okay. Uh, I will 
take up shield and uh, attack the closest one. Are you going to maintain your uh, seat on your mount or? No, damn it. Okay, I guess I use an action to dismount. There you go. So. I would like to giddy up my oxen to charge one of these dust thingies. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> uh, animal handling first. 16. Your animal is stupid and it charges forward. Uh, go ahead and Damn. hit for the oxen. Uh, 14 on the die. I don't uh, know what. That hits. Uh, you didn't have a stat one. for the war ox? No, I did not. Uh, you know, this, this reminds me of Yosemite Sam riding the dragon. Uh, okay, so go ahead. You start to trample the dust digger. Uh, mm -hmm. You hit it. Give me uh, 1d6 plus 4 damage. 1d6 for trampling it? Yep. Ah, 7 damage. That's fair. Uh, you are going after... Number two, uh, Devalian, uh, did you only have one action? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Fair enough. Next up is the 16, Ty. Would you uh, like to remain mounted on yours, which appears to be a intelligent beast, uh, as opposed to Teddy's uh, special oxen, we'll call it? It has um, to be I'm, I'm fairly close, right? Oh, yeah. It, it popped right up right in front of you. Right, yeah. You have your choice of odd or even, left or right. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll <laughs> jump off. Is that an action to dismount, or is that that's, that's one action? Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, jump off, and then mid jump, I'm going to use my bonus action to wild shape um, into a dire wolf. Fair enough. Uh, Rainia, you and I tied. I'll let you go <laughs> first. Uh, you are already dismounted as yep. your oxen hates your guts. So what do you, what would you like to do? Uh, let's see. I will probably go on the one that's on Davilian. Okay. Um, because I'll be able to get sneak attack Big on. D. We'll just call you the D. Just the <laughs> Big D. Big D. There you go. <laughs> All right. So I will take my two attacks because I got... <laughs> So that y'all have to do is move, and then I, I can get my attack and bonus. Oh, Jesus. Of course, my friggin' rolls suck. All right, well, the seven is still uh, Raver plus one, so that is going to be 14. That hits. It's, and that one's a 10, so I don't think that hits. But the 14 is the first attack. What was your second roll? What's that? What was the, the second other's roll? The other is a 10. No, it does not hit. 12 is your magic number to hit this thing. 12 is the magic. Oh, it wasn't even that far away. Okay, so so 1d8 plus 5 plus 2d6. Uh, your murder hobo die pooped. So did my d8. So that's 2, 3, 7, and 5. It's a poor artist that blames his instrument. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 12 was, that's still 12 points of damage. That works. Uh, Ty, unfortunately, uh, the war oxen has never seen a dire bear before. Uh, you're going to roll intimidation and you want to roll low or you're going to chase your war oxen. All right. Um, intimidation. Uh, that's based off of charisma off of myself or off of the, off the of dire you. wolf? Oh, uh, eh, I'm flexible. You can take the higher okay. one. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's intimidation off of the dire wolf and that's charisma, then it's a 14. Otherwise, it's a 16 if it's off of my, my stats. Uh, your dire, your uh, battle oxen is spooked. Uh, oh, so great. it's not going to go full bore, but it's going to leave the area. <laughs> mm. Uh, it is my turn. I will go after uh, Teddy Sod's uh, War Oxen and, of course, Rainia. Uh, plus five to hit. Rainia. Uh, I don't think that hits. That is 12 to hit. Uh, but 
11, uh, that's not going to hit the war oxen either. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> top, top of the order, uh, Big D. Big D. Teddy, you're up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey, big, big, D. big D's gonna take his mighty flail, <laughs> and uh, he's gonna make a. a he's gonna helicopter attack. the dust digger. Rip it good. That's it. Do, 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 do. And da, da, da. okay, uh, blah. crap. Okay. <laughs> uh, fifteen does fifteen hit? Twelve's your magic number. All right. Uh, that is. A big whopping nine points of damage. Uh, you were on the one with Rainia. Okay. Teddy. I rolled a two, so I miss. Uh, you miss poorly, so go ahead and roll a dex check for me. <coughs> uh, 15. You are not prone. Uh, Ty, you're up. Right all back. right um so both of them have people that are like you guys are all near them right so mm -hmm. i can use pack tactics yep roll at advantage mm -hmm. sweet 19 to hits which uh, one do you want so... the one that's on teddy or the one that's on the other two uh let's go with the one on te with teddy i will uh go ahead and roll intimidation for his mount all right that is a nine it doesn't give a shit about you because it's stupid. Okay, okay. go ahead and attack the tracks, uh, dust tracks. digger. All right. So is the 19 to hit, yep. and it was uh, 8, 9, 10, 11 piercing damage, and it has to make a DC 13 strength save to make sure that it's not prone. 15 plus 3, so it does not matter. It is 18. Uh, so it is good. Uh, Rainia, you and I tied. You're up. All right, so take a couple of hits. Come on, roll better, damn it. <laughs> that. No way I can get one more friggin' point. That, so the first hit will miss, which is really unfortunate. But the second hit will hit because that's a six. No, that's a 20. Dirty 20. Okay. That's unfortunate, though, because that's the one I don't roll. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, so what is it? Short sword d6 plus four, so that is nine points of damage. Gotcha. Uh, odd evens, odd will be Rania and Ty, even will be Big D and Teddy. First off, the first one is an odd, it will go after Rania. Second one is an even, it will go after Teddy. Uh, Odd, I'm gonna Teddy versus Teddy's. Mind. I'm gonna use a reaction to impose disadvantage for the one going for Arania. Sure. You said that. Yes, I love that one. I love that particular fighting style. Uh, 16 and 14 add five. My low number is 19 to hit Rania. No, they'll hit either <laughs> which. <way>. I tried. <laughs> and on Kyle, him or his mount. His mount. Oh. 15 plus 5, dirty 20. Wah, wah. It will need a... Uh, Rainia, you need a uh, DC 13 grapple uh, to make sure you aren't entrenched. All right, so what is... And the cow fails with a 3. So wait, what is... What check is it for grapple? Strength or dex. All right, it's so a dex. Dice is taking forever. Oh, nat 20. So that's a 24. Uh, so you pass. However, you're taking 14 hit points what? along with the oh. cow. What? Wait, why, why am I taking all that? Because uh, you got hit anyway. Oh, all right. No, you're right. You're right. You didn't give me the damage yet. Ow, that really hurt. Yeah. Uh, top of the order, round three, uh, Devalion and Teddy. Uh, let's see. I am going to... The new cheat sheet's working out real well, I must say. Cool. I'm glad. That's cool. <laughs> I am going to, uh, yeah, just make a melee attack again. Sure. Uh, Sticking see. with the same one, I assume? Yes. Okay. Uh, 15 to hit. That hits. 
and uh, <laughs> I like rolling nines. <laughs> I rolled another nine damage. That works. Uh, when Teddy gets back, he'll go. Ty, you are up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try the same thing, bite at it sure. as a dire wolf. And that is 24 to hit. Mm -hmm. And same thing as last time, 11 piercing damage and strength saving throw to be uh, knocked prone. DC 13. Uh, 14 plus 3, so 17. Yep. Uh, Rainia, go ahead. All right. Well, I'm going to stand my ground. <laughs> no, I'm not looking too great. Says the well. rogue. Another hit by that. <laughs> if I take another hit by that thing, I'll probably friggin' drop. Well, although I do believe the 11 plus 7 is 18, so the first hit will hit, and then... Eight plus, yeah, that's a 14 and uh, much higher. So those are both going to hit. All right, so D6. And so 3D6 and a D8. Oh, God, one, one on the D8. <laughs> uh, let's see. So that is one, five. <laughs> four is nine. Plus five is 14. Uh, I think. Remember, you add. Do you add? Shoot. Do you add the modifier on your second hit? You do, right? So five. Or, so four, six, no, six, you six. do not. Okay. Nope. Uh, fighters can. Do we? Oh, that's what it is. Because I'm used to playing a uh, fighter. All right. So that was 14 points, though. Uh, Teddy, your Oops. war oxen suffered 14 hit points of damage and uh, is grappled. You need to make a dex check, um, and then you will be able to attack. Uh, 22. So you manage to leap off your oxen that's going to be eaten. You may attack. Uh, we had to skip over you, so after you, I will go next. Uh, does 12 hit or no? Yes. Oh, cool. All right. I pull out a hand crossbow from my doctor's bag. And, oh, this is going to be lovely. Um, 19 piercing damage. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. <laughs> From a hand crossbow? Holy crap. What are you using on the hand crossbow? It's a 1d6 and then sneak attack because it's busy eating a war ox. Ah. Oh. Right. That would do it. Fair that enough. That would do it. Yeah. Uh, yours is not dead. Uh Big D and Rainia's will be, but since we tied, it ain't dead yet. Uh, yeah. Odd even. 11. So that's uh, Rainia. Odd e or yeah, you don't have your mount, so tough shit. Odd <laughs> even on Ty Teddy. Uh, 19. So this time it will go after the dire bear. Um, Is it a wolf or bear? I thought it's it was a wolf. A wolf. It's a wolf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't uh, correct Frank. He's old and he gets really he's feeble. Yeah. I don't care. You know. Plus, I, I'm I'm contemplating the death of Teddy Sod's freaking creature. Uh, <laughs> it's going to take one d six damage. Oh, it's down nineteen hit points and it's kind of feeling weathered. Uh, on Rainia, seven plus five is twelve. On Ty, yes. 14 plus 5 is 19. Does that get you? Uh, who? Devalian or? Ty. Oh, Ty. Ty. Uh, does, 19, does 19 get you? For me? Yep. Yeah, yeah 19 hits. Uh, I need a grapple check. DC 13, your choice. Strength or dex. And you're going to take a little bit of heat and I'm switching over to the murder hobo dice. Oh, crap. <laughs> that have failed me. Uh, right. You're going to take well, eight that's a, points. A 10 for my strength. You are grappled. All Ooh. right. So top of the order, Ty, you can try and break grapple as your action. All right. Try to break grapple. Come that's on. a little better. Um, 14, 15, 16, 17. You have a bonus action you can perform. Bonus action as a 
dire wolf i don't think so <laughs> fair enough no nope, that's it and i went out of order again big d uh yours is dead teddy oh crap your war o- or war ox is being eaten uh 13 to hit yep. the hand crossbow again that is 12 13 17 piercing uh actually ty you didn't even need to make that save because for some reason teddy sod is shooting this thing in its eyeballs and it is dead both of these creatures are now uh met their demise in the sand i will go over to my battle ox i named dewey wilcox (laughs) <laughs> and uh i will pull out uh, my medicine bag and just start bandaging him up pour some maggots into any of the open flesh to eat anything that's going to die again your stupid ox says shazool uh and you know what i if you're gonna pour maggots into it i really think i should be doing a con check on it <laughs> well that's fine uh a Jerox and stupid. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, means... Real quick, how many hit dies do the War Ox have? Four. Four? Uh, it gets back ten hit points. So it's as I down nine. Ended. Yep. Fair enough. Uh, okay, Dewey, we got gotcha. you. Wow. Uh, Ty, you also noticed, since you spotted it first, that there is a chest in the burning wagon that does not appear to be burnt. All right, I'll. Uh, since I'm still a, a dire wolf, I'm not. I'm not changing back. I'm not going to make it easy on anybody for communicating. Why should I do that? Um, I'm just going <laughs> to go over to it, and I'm going to lift my leg, and I'm going to pee on it because now it's mine. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. Now, Dewey's, Dewey's war oxen does not give a crap about you. Yours does not give a crap about you. If you wander too close to Rainia or Big D, they will have to make checks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so as you wander over and pee, uh, you're fine. Uh, okay. Continue or make camp for any reason. Uh, oh, let's um, continue. And I, I guess mean, we'll I'm, leave that box behind. I'm going to go up and I'm going to go grab my ox that hates me. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I'll, I'll shape change back. I'll take a look at what's inside the uh, the chest there. And when yeah. is Paltrow's head? No, something <laughs> better than that. Very important very important parchment that has now been ruined by the stream of urine. Oh, (laughs) nice. We will never know what those important papers said. I'm going to say a small lamenting prayer for my (laughs) oxen. (laughs) Fair enough. Uh, As you guys proceed further, about uh, two hours away, you come up to an area that changes the landscape. It appears as though there is a ridgeline to your left and a ridgeline to your right, indicating that you can go around to the left, through the center, or around to the right to continue on towards the front line where the fighting is at. All right, if I remember the episode correctly, we don't want to go left because there's something really off there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's not metagaming at all. I was about to say, <laughs> pro, not, play not your knowledge, no, character no. knowledge. No, hey, no. you know what? Carol was there too, so she doesn't remember. That's Carol something. barely remembers what her damn damage dice are. To be fair, I don't remember this at all, so I'm just saying a random direction. <laughs> if that was right, well, me. Actually, I had to look it up. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so left, straight ahead, or to the right? Uh, FYI, so either way, there's danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. I'm not looking great. Oh, we, I'm sorry. We know. How's your character? <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I will go ahead and go over to Rainia, pull out a leech or two, and... Uh, Oh, God, no, spare me. I'll bring <laughs> Oh, it's healing. <laughs> Quit whining. It's a special healing leech that we just now discovered in this episode. Would you like 14 hit points back? 
Yes. Oh, there you then go. take the fucking leech. <laughs> Are these like magic leeches? I mean, geez. Uh, it's a med kit. Gotcha. No, actually, that's nope, nope. She'll try anything at once, and we have a cool leeches. Why don't you make them red ants and just apply them to the wound and then just pinch the body off like there they you do in go. Africa? Oh, that sounds Features. good. <laughs> uh, that's actually uh, after the leeches have run off you know He's once got I run out of the water in my sack I start drinking leech water and then I'm down to red ants and my uh, dung uh, treatment his poultice <laughs> I can also drill a hole in your skull to relieve some pressure if you like yeah, uh, lobotomy would be nice. It would have been nicer about 7.30 for me today. Uh, <laughs> so who wants to make the decision left, straight, or right? Uh, I D6. <laughs> yeah. yeah, detect evil and go that way, right? Yeah, yeah. 60 that's feet. I don't think that's going to help. Uh, let's. You know what? The shortest distance between two points is a straight line, so I think we should just go straight. It's chill to me, man. Hmm. Sure, I concur. So, I'm so feeling Ty, Ty, you are out of your wild shape, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Rainier, are you going to try and remount your war oxen, see if it's uh, going to let you move? Yes. Okay, uh, it still doesn't like you because we're still on day two. You guys right. plod forward another two hours. You all notice that the <laughs> land is starting to slope down and the sand is being replaced with kind of not quite mud uh but kind of uh let's see the trail you have chosen leads through a series of small mesas and you notice that the ground begins to descend always helps when i read the description first <laughs> uh following the twists and turns you quickly discover the sand here has changed to mud indicating the possible presence of a water source there are no prints in the mud and as your boots or i'm sorry you're all mounted uh as the hooves receive a healthy coating of mud you move through the rocks when one one of them moves quickly in front of you. But you know what? Let's fuck with Carol a little bit more. Carol, D12 against me. Let's see if yours opts to throw you and take a mud bath. Yeah. <laughs> it should say nine. Oh, eleven. I beat you. Nine. It's eleven. Oh, I thought you said seven. Okay. No, uh, yeah, yes. Versus... Sorry. Got to get that hearing aid check, Frank. What? <laughs> You gotta get that hearing aid check, Frank. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you gotta get time. that hearing there aid you check, go. Frank. <laughs> uh, good news. Uh, one of the rocks is moving forward. Everybody, roll initiative. Roll uh, initiative. Yeah. I don't remember how the rest of that goes. Nine. Uh, no, no, no. Well, I'm going last. I'm going with seven. Uh, I am going with a 21. And tie. 12. 12 ties me. 21 is up first. Uh, Devalion, uh, one of the indigenous creatures in this wasteland is... Blood. Hey, give me... No. Oh. That's too high. You got the easy road. Uh, I would assume that you guys all know what this is. It is a basilisk. Oh, no. Badly, it is not the first second edition Basilisk. It's the candy ass Basilisk of fifth E. But Devalion, you are up first as the reptilian creature sticks out its tongue and eyeballs meet between your legs. See how what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I am going to use my bonus action to cast Searing Smite and, uh, yeah, to make an attack. Got to dismount. Oh, crap. Okay, I forgot about that. Hold on. Okay, I dismount. <laughs> <laughs> bonus action, cast hit, hit, uh, Searing Smite. There you go. Uh, I'm Took a up. while, but I got there. <laughs> I'm going to choose uh, D4 and then odd even. I opt to go after four. Teddy, odd even. I opt to go after Teddy's injured. 
mount. Oh no. Seventeen plus five. That misses. Twenty-two. He has plate armor barding. Uh huh. You're gonna take two d six for the bite, plus three, and two d six poison damage. Well, one murder hobo. So ten, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen damage. Shazu. Oh. Uh, it is still alive, but Damn! not by a lot. Wow. Not by a lot at all. Uh, from the other side, Basilisk number two goes after Devalion and sees the raging meat between his legs, but opts to launch itself at Sir Knight. I don't think so. 14? Uh, what is it? 14 to hit you? 14 does not hit. 14 does not hit. Uh, lady and gentlemen, you have two basilisks. One is on Teddy Sod's mount. One is on Devalion. I will take uh, the, uh, the 12. Ty, you are up. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead then and dismount. And go after which, whichever one. Which one got to hit somebody? One uh, went after Teddy Sod's mount. The other one, the other one attempted right to attack Devalion. Okay. Um, I'll go after uh, the one that attacked Teddy's mount. Um, so I'll I'll dismount, and then I'll go ahead and call my flame blade and evoke this fiery blade in my hand and just start charging at this thing. Very nice. Uh, that brings us to the still mounted. Oh, no. You're, you are not there. Uh, nine. Teddy, you're up. Carol's last this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're muted. Fuck you. <laughs> I shoot the hand crossbow directly into the blast's face for a natural. 600 damage. Not yet, although One it was close. It was million. a 19 on the die. Uh, 16 damage. And because I'm a thief with fast hands, I pull out a healing potion <coughs> and put it in Dewey's mouth to give him some healing. Uh, anything but a natural one. Anything but a natural one? A 10. Nice. I've got mad skills. Okay. Shazul. <laughs> okay. Nine, thirteen points of healing back to Dewey the wild ox. Fair enough. It's gonna uh, be all patched up. It's just gonna be nothing but a roving pile of bandages. <laughs> <Scarped>. <laughs> uh radiant. It's so. Uh, what is what kind of an action to dismount? An action. Oh, a full action. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, okay. You're jumping I, into mud. I jump into mud, and unless there's something right there, to, uh, that, that's that. You know, it's not a move action. Huh? I guess I just jump off. Top of the order, twenty-one. All righty. Um, yes, gonna make a. Uh, uh, Melee attack with a searing strike. So, sure. uh, let's see. Fifteen Ooh. is your magic number here. Fourteen. <laughs> so close. So, so close. close. So close. Uh, we're gonna stick with the Rainia Big D Ty Teddy issue. Uh, the Devalion one. Odd goes after <laughs> Rainia's side. At Rainia, uh, the other one goes after Ty. Ty, uh, <laughs> I'm oh. going to use my reaction for Rainia. So, yeah, I guess we're yeah, we can be close. Uh, nine and fourteen, so uh, <laughs> nine plus five is fourteen. Miss and Ty. That's a four, so that's not going to hit shit. 
Uh, <laughs> next up is the 12, Ty. All right. I'm going to be passing by uh, Dewey Cox there, and I'm going to remind him, hey, don't worry, buddy. Walk hard down life's lonely road. And then I'm going to take my <laughs> my uh, like flaming scimitar thing, and I'm just going to start wailing at the basilisk. Sure. And that would be a 17 to hit. Yep. I'm getting uh, a big Lebowski vibe. 13... 13 fire damage. They stole my credence, man. <laughs> nice. Uh, Dewey, or I'm sorry. Dewey is crying out. Shazul, Teddy, you're up. Dewey. I know why you said Dewey. No crossovers. Not No idea. That, well, that's what? <laughs> I think that's a nat 20. Okay. I think it's for the nat 20. Son of a bitch, I'm muted. <laughs> but yes, it was a nat 20. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right, that is three, six, nine, four, and four, 17, 21 uh, piercing damage. Got it. Radio. All right, so now that I can actually, well, it's right here, so I don't even have to move. So, two attacks. Oh, that's gonna, let's see. Oh, actually, that probably won't. The second attack is a 14. Wah, is about one. But the first attack was a 24, so that's the one I want to hit. Oh, that's nice. I see a murder hobo there. So, oh, and a max on the D8. So eight, nine, 14, and five is 19 points. <coughs> Very nice. Top yeah. of the order, Devalion. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Ah, oh, okay. The dice roller loved me that time. <laughs> okay. 23 hits, obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the, the bludgeon damage is only six. The searing damage coming up is... Na, na, na. Come on. Sorry about that. Uh, is an additional five. So 11 points of damage total. Very nice. Uh, a horn sounds in the distance, and a robed figure comes charging out of the cliffside near the mud. Both basilisk turn their heads and begin to retreat towards the horn blower. Oh, crap. Next up, the bearded one. Or no, I'm sorry. Ooh. No, I'm sorry. It's Ty. Yeah, come on. All right. So they're disengaging and then going back towards this humanoid esque yeah. figure blowing a horn. Cool. You will have an attack All of right. opportunity if you wish to take it, or you can pause and see where this goes. Um, I think I'm going to assume that they're probably part of a scouting party on uh, the side that we're going towards. So I'm not going to take a swipe at them as they go away. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll hold my hold my turn to do any damage. Does anybody need a, like cure wounds or something like that to... Anybody? Uh, I'm Dewey Oxtus. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're Oxtus? Dewey, Dewey Oxtus. Dewey Dewey Ox. Ox. It's got 26 hit points of damage on it. <laughs> wow. But it's still up though, right? Like it's not bleeding out yet. No, no, it's he keeps walking throwing hard. maggots into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like walking maggots, hard. It's fine. whatever it needs. On it's, its, uh, it's okay. On the bat, one of the basilisks is going to have to make a Constitution saving throw if it's on its turn. I guess would that apply when it dis disengages? Because I smited it. It's a searing smite. Oh, I thought it was a smote. Smote, smote you. Yeah, I'll I'll just keep my I'll just keep my flaming uh 
what is it, flame blade or whatever, active and at the ready in case anything nefarious were to happen. But otherwise, I'm not going to do anything. I'll just wait for the rider to get closer. Sure. Uh, 18 on the roll plus whatever I need there, Big D. Okay, Uh, it saves. Teddy, you're up. They are disengaging and headed towards this humanoid-esque figure. Yeah, I'll let the humanoid-esque figure take it. Uh, Rainio. Uh, I'm holding by action. I mean, they were called back, so... Uh, They go past the humanoid figure into a concealed crevasse in the cliffside, and the humanoid figure approaches you, angrily shouting as he runs forward with bow legs, Tarnation, what are Uh, you doing to my guard dogs, you thieving bastards? Why did your guard dogs attack us? We wouldn't have bothered them if they... Did you not see the sign that says no trespassing? No. (laughs) Did we not see a sign that said no trespassing? It probably uh, fell down again. <laughs> <laughs> no sign, okay? We You're trespassing. This is my gym encrusted world. You need to skedaddle or I'll sick them on you again. Well, then you'll have two dead pets. Why would you do that? He holds would- up his hand and electricity crackles from it. What'd you say to me there, Missy? But he notices that you're a female-ish and goes... Ish. She's a go like a female. She's What's her charisma? A 14. <laughs> Your opinion of good looking is different than mine. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a pass on that. 14 uh, or above average. Mister. He, he so lifts his single eyebrow and tries to make himself presentable by patting himself, having dust swamp off of him. He goes, is the missus for sale? What? No, I'm not <laughs> Come on, Teddy, now's your chance to Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you guys always assume the worst about me. <laughs> you're looking at an old Western prospector type here. Uh, and on cue, he spits some kind of gnarly dark substance on there <laughs> that comes closest to Devalion, Mr. Shiny Boy. Mr. Shiny Boy. Does she belong to you? Uh, actually, no. I make no oh, claim what? on this lovely woman right here. <laughs> the misogynistic pig completely ignores rania and turns to ty she belonged to you there stretch yeah she doesn't belong to anybody there bucko i think you can just calm down claimer (laughs) (laughs) she's her own person actually she belongs to perry ox this angry looking battle ox over here i just just point at rania's ox (laughs) Dr. Periox. Uh, nice. Had to murder him if something doesn't change real quick. All she right. likes the ox. Oh, that's the ox just, likes her. That's <laughs> just wrong. Well, you guys need to get off my property. All right. We'll see you later, Pat Buttram. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pat McGroin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. You guys skedaddle or I'll sick my creatures on you. Uh, as you pass by the crevasse, you notice uh, more than two sets of eyes are in there. Mm. I so freaking want to murder this guy right now. Hey, at least he likes you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 nothing right. says loving like one eyebrow rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. You, we ride. We ride. <laughs> Uh, you're getting back up on your mounts and leaving? Yeah. Uh, Still yeah. on day two there, Rania. <laughs> Why don't you give me a dex check? <laughs> I was waiting for this earlier, too. I was you're going to need those leeches for our ass, Kyle. <laughs> What's your roll? Uh, oh, my frigging God. I'll assume that's more damage. <laughs> yep. Would you like to assume how much that was? Was it a one? Yep. Eight damage as you are bucked off. Uh, wow. Behind you, you hear a low whistle. <whistles> Must not like her that much. 
<laughs> <laughs> and we leave Rania to the guy. <laughs> Are you unconscious? He can no, drag you off by no, your no. hair. Remember, uh, remember, Teddy healed me. So no. See, Teddy, you screwed that one up. <laughs> that nice to. I think I would have one hit point, even if he if he didn't heal me. So I still would be conscious. Oh, you are I covered would. in mud. Come on, <laughs> you would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys uh, go another hour. You leave the lovely confines of it, uh, and ahead of you, you notice the opening of the high walls. So you are coming to the crossing. You also notice the sun is starting to set. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. Rolling a perception check. Natural see everything 20. with a 17. Can't see anything with a two. <laughs> <laughs> 19. Everybody but the night. Aww. Man, that smells like water. Just like what? up ahead. Water. Water. Uh, and as you move forward you are going to start to make camp i assume uh, yeah. the canyon narrows at this location and the sloping sides allow fetid water to collect in the trail so we're in the canyon well you've been in the canyon the whole time you went right right no no I, i'm about to say i'm getting this buster scruggs feel there i should start singing <laughs> cool water well, <laughs> clear uh, water. green and pink vegetation poke out of the water and have strange blooms on them the gap is filled with brackish water but it appears to be quite still and serene so there's a gap uh in this section uh, and you are surrounded by high mountain peaks. Uh, every once in a while, shale will fall, skittering across the rocks. Uh, but here you must cross the fetid water. You have the option of spending the night on this side or attempting to cross now. What do you think? I bet you that fellow with his uh, guard dogs comes and gets water here. So if you want to be on the side that he's on... Fetid water, though, I doubt it. It's, I don't think it's drinkable. It's a basilisk, and did you see how many teeth he had? He drinks fetid water. <laughs> All you and I'm pretty fetid. sure his pants did not start off brown. <laughs> As the guy with the ox, the Frankenstein ox. <laughs> oh, man. All you had to say, Teddy, was that um, you want to cross, and I'd be okay with that. No, no, I'm... I'm I just like to make sure everyone has a good idea of what's going on. You said there's some weird flowers in the uh, water? There sure are. Can I do a nature check to attempt to identify them? You sure can. Uh, that's I'll a seven, that. so I don't think I do that. They're purdy. They're awful yeah, purdy they flowers. I'll uh, take a gander at them and see. Yeah, and I'll, I'll help them. So uh, at at advantage. Okay. Uh, good thing it's advantage. Hopefully it works. <laughs> At 11. Just looks like pretty plants. So. Yeah, probably edible. All right. Uh, yeah, you gave him advantage. Otherwise, we'd be going to Ty. Hey, hey you know, you're the, you're the nature sort. I mean, would you know what they are? But I don't know if he can make a check now because he helped. I, I, yeah, since I already helped Devalian, I'll just look at him and be like, you know, I'm not really quite sure, but here, let me try something. I'll pick up a rock and I'll just like chuck it at one of them and see if they react in any way. Good idea. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Use dexterity as your modifier. Okay. Please be a one because you're going to crack <laughs> no. Devalian right in the face. No, it's a 19. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you actually hit the uh, blooms and they fall onto the fetid water and they start to drift. Everybody, perception check. Mm -hmm. 14. 14. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not seeing shit again. <laughs> 14 again. Now, Devalion and Ty, were you off your mounts at the time to go investigate the flowers? I probably would have dismounted to go over there yeah, and chuck, find I'm, a rock and I'm chuck it. I'm saying yes. Yeah. Teddy and Rainia, were you dismounted or not? No. Mounted. Yeah, I haven't had a reason to dismount, so Fair uh, waiting to figure out if we're camping here or not or going. 
everybody animal handling. Rainy is the only one mounted. Oh boy, this is going to be awesome. I'm mounted as well. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I rolled a 19. Oh my God. 17. 21 for me. And, okay. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> uh, Devalion, uh, you hear scampering as your creature starts to take off for some reason. The other three are fine, and then everybody hears a splash. And look <laughs> <laughs> nice. That. Whoa, 19 on the roll, bitches. <laughs> wow. A dirty 20. Ooh. Oh, 16. Ugh. Four for gore. Oh, no. Five. Big old five. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to need a 19 or 20 on nature check on the roll to see if you can identify what this creature is. Oh, God. 47. <laughs> That's a 14 on the roll for 17 total. An 11. enormous frog-like creature breaks through and its tentacles and its tongue shoot out. Oh, one of the best mini- Three tie. Three tie. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to hit you twice. Four tie and Teddy. Uh, tie odd even you or your mount, which is you know what you're dismounted, so no, mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be you. Uh, odd even Teddy. Come on, Dewey. Dewey takes it. Dewey got Dewey it. Dewey takes it. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> he's Again. getting the, he's getting tongued. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's so oh, on it's so tie, bad <laughs> yeah, you know i don't let mounts live no or familiars oh, tie that's an 18 plus six i'm guessing that hits yeah. uh teddy yeah. slash dewey that's 12 plus six that's gonna hit dewey in the face and start <laughs> dragging him in uh tie <laughs> i need a dc 14 strength or dex Otherwise, you are going to be grappled. And I just noticed that there are two tentacle attacks, but I'm only going to do one this round. Boo. I know. Uh, well, I got 17. BBG. 17 uh, on my save. Fair enough. You're going to take 2d8 damage because this thing is a bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Double eight. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, 16 wow. plus six is 24 oh. damage. Holy uh, crap. The good news is uh, Dewey's going to face off with 2d10. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Three and a three. So six plus three is nine. And Dewey's back in deep shit. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. Everybody else gets to go starting with a dirty 20. Eddie. Okay, I will... Um, 14 to hit this beast. 14 to hit the... Okay. I dip a crossbow bolt in some homemade poison I have rolled up. Sure you do. Uh, <laughs> it's shit. It's Dewey Ox's shit. Uh, <laughs> 14 on the die for a dirty 20 to hit. Um, and then I need a constitution saving throw. Uh, 13 plus ch -ch -ch -ch. that's a four fail, so no problems there 17 constitution is what you call its uh, prime asset i figured but you know yeah you, you gotta try um 11 piercing damage fair enough uh next up 16 rainia uh i think i'm gonna actually co-op my potion of my lesser potion. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's four back. Um, no ones. And, and before I go wandering, I'm not going to go wandering in there this round. Okay. I'm going to basically oh, go away. I'm basically going to do that. Jeez, okay. that was terrible. Uh, next up is the five tie. 
All right. Um, yeah, I'm not not doing so well sitting at uh, seven right uh, now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do some cure wounds at second level on myself. Okay. Right. And don't forget you got the potions. Yep. All right. Actually, it would be the same thing, but yeah. So I'll do the. Can I do the potion instead of the second sure. level spell? Yeah. Essentially the same thing. Okay. Uh, seven, seven, four, eighteen. Yep. Eighteen total healing to me. That's a good potion. Um, and then I'm going to use my bonus action. <laughs> This is coming, is it in the water or is it coming from the water? Like, it's is it shooting its tentacles and its tongue out of the water. Okay. So you can hack at the tentacles and the tongue or yeah. you can go for the body. So I, I would be able to get to the body without having to swim? Correct. Okay. Um, in that case, I'll do, uh, I'll, I'll transform into a... a Big giant brown bear, and uh, he's wearing his brown pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I'll I'll start going, I guess, towards the the body of this beast. That's uh, cool. Since your uh, mount only knows you as a dire wolf, now it knows oh, you as man. a bear. Oh yep. yeah, go ahead and roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's a big old three. Well, good news uh, is die, your mount so. is going to run, so it is not part <laughs> of the equation anymore. It will hang out with the <laughs> <All right. laughs> And that brings us to Big D mm-hmm. facing off the BBG. Oh, man, I hate it that they have it as an action, but I'm going to channel Divinity Sacred Weapon. So Fair enough. At least you aren't mounted. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah that, that's a plus. Uh, everybody done? Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> First attack. Three. Sorry, Ty. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> One. Carol or Rania. Uh, your mount's <laughs> gone, Ty, so I don't have to worry about that. Hey. Hey. Is, does a 12 hit you? Who? Me? Ty. Uh, 12, 12 does not hit. No. Uh, even in bear form? If well, I guess it depends. It's natural armor class is eleven, but then I had my plus one magical armor. Does that bump me up to twelve, or does it? Oh, I guess if it hit either way, but it doesn't. Yes, it would still hit because it's twelve. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, we're good. And and then on Rania, uh, eight plus six, fourteen. That misses. Lucky you. The dire wolf is fourteen. I should have done the dire wolf. Should yeah. have. Then you'd still have oh, your well. mount hanging out. Yeah, well. <laughs> well. That's better. That's a three and a one. So that's four plus six is ten damage to you. Uh, and I am, again, not going to take the second tentacle as I start to climb out of the fetid water. Bringing us to the dirty 20. Teddy Robin Hood sod. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will uh, poison another bolt, shoot it. Uh, natural 20. Nice. Uh, so DC 14 constitution. 17 on my constitution. You pass. <coughs> I am going to roll these murder hobo die. Because they seem... That can't go well. Yeah, <laughs> right? For me. I love the murder hobo times. <coughs> that is two uh, murder hobos. Holy things. shit, that is yeah, it might be soon out of this world. Um, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> 18, <laughs> 21, 25, 30 piercing damage. Oh yeah, not even close. Uh <laughs> next up, Rania. Uh I'm not sure if Dewey is considered a melee with it, meaning the mount. The bear, is. Is. the bear is. The bear is. Right, the bear is. All right. Yep. Yep. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to try to hit it. <coughs> Come on. Boy, that took a long time. Uh, so the low of the two, well, 17 and 19. Both it. All righty. Excellent. 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 It's a young froggy moth. So I had to bastardize it. This is. <laughs> It is like my favorite mini. I gotta 
get myself one. Oh, that's nice. Or, well, two is not so nice, but eight. 11, 15 plus five is 20 points of damage. Nicely done. Ty, <laughs> you're up. All right, in bear form, I'm going to start my multi attack and just start gnashing my jaws. 14 is your base to hit. All right. Well, I got a dirty 20 on the first one. So That's that is help. 7, 4, 11 piercing damage. Okay. And then I go in with my claws. And that's an 18 to hit, which is 2d6. Shades of Ernie. Eight. <laughs> exactly. 12. 12 slashing damage for the, the claws as I'm just sitting there just mauling it. Gotcha. Uh, last but not least, Big D. <laughs> Big D is going to hold off. I mean, not hold off. He's going to take a swing. So 24 def definitely hits. <laughs> yep. Okay. And let's see. Okay. Uh, seven plus four. 11 points of damage. Boom. You guys are chopping it down nicely. But it is now out of the fetid water, and that means boing, three attacks. First one. Three. Sorry, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> Two. And one. Uh, so Devalion and Ty both get the tentacles, and uh, Rainia gets the bite. Oh, so, oh crap. How many hit points you got left, Ty? Oh, I'm in looking. bear form now, so I, I have a, a good pool You're on top fine. of my regular. So yes. on, on Ty. That's an 11 plus 6, 17. Okay. On Devalion, uh, that is a nat 20. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and, and on Rainia, uh, that is an 11 plus 6, 17. You hit me by one. Boink! Ah, uh, boy, I did not anticipate TPK. <laughs> uh, good news, boys. That's eight plus six, 14 damage uh, on... On what? The, the on tentacles? YouTube. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, on Rania, 2d10. I'm a, I'm a heavy metal kind of guy, so uh, that gets reduced by three, so... Oh, nice. Uh, nine damage to Rainia. However, Ty and Devalion uh, grapple 14 to make sure that you aren't wrapped up. So strength okay. for X. All right. Strength for 14. Exactly. You're safe. Yeah. 14. Wow. You are safe. Dirty 20. Teddy sod. All right. I will slide this thing's off. Pretty of beat up. Pretty beat up. I will slide off of Dewey and run over to the Big D. You and with my fast Dewey. hands, <coughs> I'm going to uh, patch up through all that armor, which is really, I'm going to pull out a little syringe, put it in the crossbow, and shoot the Valiant right oh. in the ass with it. Uh, uh, but it, you get max healing, so. Did you nice. hit him? <laughs> oh, I walked right up. It's flavor. I'll lay <laughs> one, two, or three, you miss him. Fifteen. Okay. Screw you. <laughs> uh, the valley 14. on your anus feels great right now. Yeah, I'm sure it does. <laughs> Through that second hole I put there for you. Right. Uh, right. Fourteen hit points back to you. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Don't worry, Big D. Taint, but an injury. Taint, taint a thing. <laughs> taint a thing. Uh, next up, Rania. All right, two attacks. Come on. Oh, oh a nat 20 on the first one. And a, nice. and a one on the last one. Yes! Uh, <laughs> Ty, so what you do here, uh, the good news is ones mean you hit yourself or your buddy. So D4 me after you give me your damage, Carol. All right, I'm gonna, so you, I, I'll do the nat 20 first. Yep. All right, so I feel like to say, I play like about four different systems of gaming. Nope. I had on a net yes, 20. Yes, we are all aware. <laughs> all right, well, on the net 20, all double. your dice double it. All right, so yeah, the sneak attack. And then modifier. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Which is one, really good. One of the raw that we use. 
Yeah, the modifier doesn't get double all the dice get double. Correct. Oh, and that was tie her what? damage will be halved on the innocent. Wow. I got three ones in that of your free and murder hobo dice. Wow. That was terrible. I shoot uh, text. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, like two fives on the D8. Pat McGroin, so. you go back and watch your bass <laughs> list. <laughs> nope, he's not done. All right, so 22 points, and then what am I rolling, a D4? D4. You know what? Do a D10. Let's see if you can kill off Dewey. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. D10 for what? Five of you. Oh, all right. Uh, ten. <laughs> That's that Dewey. Dewey. That's yeah. Dewey. <laughs> you hit that poor ox. Shazul. Right. <laughs> it's half a D6 plus four. So it's. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's only. Not uh, plus six. four. What's that? It's your so, offhand attack, not a plus four. Oh, Just right, D6. right. Well, isn't that? So it's one point of damage then. Inching closer. Yeah! <laughs> Shazul. <laughs> Guess what, boys and girls? It's Ty's turn. All right. Still in bear form, just kind of holding on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my bite attack first. And that's a big old biff. Nine. So wah, wah. That one fails. But luckily, the second one, the claws hit with a 23. That does hit. So that's going to be 2d6. <clears throat> Plus four. All right. Uh, 10 slashing damage as I'll just like bear out, just like rah, just going crazy. <laughs> Can Big D do it? Well, are you out. guys in for another three attacks? <laughs> nope. Come on. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not not too bad. Uh, 16 to hit. And uh, that is a 13 damage. <laughs> Let me guess. That, that's, very, that's very good. You have 14 hit points. You have 14 hit points, right? Got three more left. Uh, uh, hey, new round, boys and girls. Uh, and you know what? I, too... Failed. I need to roll a d10, not a d4. Six. Sorry about your luck, Ty. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say. Oh no. <laughs> Nine. Sorry about your luck, Dewey. How, how, Dewey. how close is how, how close is Ty to me? Is Three. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Feet? Save Dewey. You're. <laughs> and Devalion is <laughs> the, the getting tongued. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting tongue. Okay, That's on like tie. the worst thing. Oh god. Three plus six is a nine against Ty. Um if uh, right. if he's close enough, I'm gonna Im impose uh, my reaction. It he, it already missed him. Oh okay. With a six. Uh however for Dewey though. Twelve or Dewey. plus six is eighteen. He said he would do it for Dewey, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it for Dewey. That's a 17 on that roll. <laughs> Dewey, no! Dewey is getting... I tried, man. I tried. <laughs> and Big D is your attention is maneuvered. Uh, only a nine, so 15. 15 does not yet. Okay. Let's see if Dewey eats it. He has four hit points left. <laughs> Damn, that oxen is... I get 2d8 plus 6. <laughs> no, he's fine. He's fine. Uh, a 7 out of 5 is 12 plus 6 is 18. He is not fine. He is not fine. Uh, dirty 20. Teddy. Do we? <laughs> I will shoot him. Uh, that's a I'm having a brain fart here. And I also was looking at other stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, 18 to hit, right? Yep. Okay. It's three hit points. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, good. Because <laughs> I rolled a one, a one, and a one. <laughs> 
You guys just suck ass. Seven. Um, <laughs> young froggy moth falls to the ground. Its tentacles flop down, sending light plumes of smoke in the dying of the light. Uh, uh, and as my fast hands, I'll run over to Dewey and try and heal him up real quick. So, uh, 13 back to Dewey. So he's at minus one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna you help. got fast hands. I'm gonna I'm gonna channel lay on hands that I'm gonna give. <laughs> Everybody's touching this. I'm gonna monster. give them. I'm gonna give them five extra points of uh, healing. Shazul. Yeah. Uh, with them dicking around with a stupid animal, <laughs> Ty and Rania, give me perception checks. So, uh, or I'll try. Okay. 15, uh, no, sorry, wait, wait, uh, 14. Nope, 15. And uh, if I um, got time, I'm going to high five them. They'll, they'll get five points back to you. do not have time yet. It, I, was was this based off of uh, anything that might be uh, like smell based? I'll give you smell based. Okay, then uh, that'll be perception dirty 20. Reptiles are approaching from your rear, Ty. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna transform back and I'll be like <laughs> transform back and be like, all right guys, we got some basilics on our tail. We gotta hightail it out of here. I think we need to jump over the water and get to getting. Wait, uh, that asshole sent them after us? I don't know, it's reptilian something. I could smell it. If I if I turn around, can I see them? Uh, you see a strange pyramid shadow getting closer to you. As time ticks off the clock and Teddy and Devalion stop fucking with the war oxen, <laughs> Rain Rainia and Ty, you notice that a pair of basilisks being ridden like Aquaman are fast approaching uh, with Pat uh, McGroin <laughs> riding them. <laughs> Pretty lady! Pretty lady, I got something for you. <laughs> you too, and I draw my weapons. I'm like, I'm about to shank this guy. Uh, what? He, um, he approaches how... and comes to a screeching halt. <laughs> what would you guys like to do as he has exclaimed he has something for the pretty lady? I, I'd say what? And I look at him, I have my weapons out, but I look at him... Hey, you notice that he has put on his least holy clothes. <laughs> He's all duded up like Jed Clampett. And he has a poorly wrapped box in his hand. Purdy lady, I got somethings for you. What? While this is happening, I shoot Ty in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, not to heal him, but just to shoot, shoot him. him. <laughs> it's not that time yet. About fifteen minutes, I'll shoot. Yeah, together. yeah. Then, then all bets are off. Uh, Eleven hit points back to you, Ty. Awesome. By the Thank way, you. I'm telling him to put the uh, put the box in the ground and back well, away. If I do, the basilisks will eat it. I would. Don't so worry. It won't bite you unless you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> Very well, be. All right, I will. God damn it! I put one of my weapons away. No, I'll put them both in one hand, and I will come up and take. I'm afraid to take the box. Carol wants to know what's in this friggin' box, and I back away. Hey, it could be the blue box from Tiffany and Company. You never <laughs> <It's> know. <true. laughs> uh, as you look at it, it's old, dilapidated, and it's kind of stained, but it appears to be intact. Uh, would you like to shake it? Shank, shank, shank. Very whoa, gentle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't want to break it. I'm being very gentle. I don't like shake it like this. I just, you know. Shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> Beat me to it. Uh, there's something in there. It's, there's several somethings in there. By the way, when I stop shaking it, they don't continue moving, right? No. And they're not like slithering because you, I know you and your box of freaking snakes. So you're <laughs> <up and laughs> and it's 
That was, that was an entirely different adventure. That was two entirely different adventures. You that to... was three entirely different adventures. <laughs> three, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, you gonna open the box? I put it down and I'm gonna I'll open it. Okay. And it's a box full of snake. Pat McGroin has a big old smile on his face. You like it? What is you it? Like it? Mr. GM, what is it? You look in it? Yeah. It appears to be chocolate covered cockroaches. Ooh. That's not so bad. You know there, that's Missy. Cool. That uh that there's one of them there delicacies that you city folk kinda like. I got plenty more of that if you want to come with me for the night. Um <laughs> I got plenty more of that and he starts scratching his groin. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, business elsewhere, but um, thank you. You know what? She's rainy. I will try anything once. She'll actually try one. Yes. Yeah, on roll. Yeah. I, oh no, no, no. <laughs> no, that might be just to see if you like it. Yeah, it's yeah. just a taste. Yeah, see if you like it. Yeah. And actually. And plus, it's extra healing. So oh, it's... apparently she doesn't like it. That's not. It's a ten, so it's probably just. Mm, it's not okay. that. It's not there, bad. There, they're not awful, but they're it's not a little crunchy for your tastes. Yeah, that makes sense. A little well, you know where to find stuff. me, lovely lady. And uh, he uh, whirls uh, around and kind of pats the dust off his buttocks while seductively looking over his shoulder at you. Uh, since you are not <laughs> taking the bait, he will leave on his own dejected. That Take looks like something bait. you should try at least once. <laughs> <laughs> I do have standards on that when it comes to uh, or women. No, no, no. There's a pirate captain standards. and a goblin. Wait, did he say he had There was a sweaty <laughs> pile of semen on a boat one day. I don't want to hear that bullshit. <laughs> oh, I meant mariners. That's what I meant to say. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> I know, I know, uh-uh. I know. That was in the, that was in the crow's nest, so you don't have any bullshit standards. Anyway, <laughs> dead froggy moth is there. Uh, uh, Rania has a box of chocolates that it, Forrest just, McGroin gave her. Uh, what, what would we you... do have to keep going, so. And it's uh, nightfall. <laughs> uh, going... I, I look around the frog and see There we if... go. Give me some investigation checks, yeah. please. Since I'm busy screwing with 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 him. Whoa, so. whoa, whoa! Watch your uh, watch your descriptors there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Anybody else checking the uh, crappy water? As I said, I'm busy dealing with him, so probably not. Ty. Yeah, I'll, I'll help, or I'll I'll do it as well. Give me an uh, investigation 16. check. Okay, mm-hmm. Teddy, are you doing it? Uh, Twelve. Uh, Ty, you had a 16. What did you have, uh, Devalion? 14. Uh, 16. Give me a d6 roll, Ty. It's another four. You find a leather bag, uh, holding about 50 gold pieces worth of opals, uh, which is also with a lot of other opals that have been smashed and are now worthless, but you've still got 50 gold pieces worth of opals. Uh, next up is Devalion. I'll take an odd even. Uh, even. Uh, that is a jade scroll tube worth 25 gold pieces. It is wax sealed. Would you like to break the seal on it? Uh, yes. It is the seventh seal of Christ. and you've That's it. it. <laughs> uh, and there, the water turns to blood. <laughs> that's right. There are four pieces of parchment in there. Uh, they appear to be wizard spells. Uh, okay. Final item discovered by Teddy is a skeleton and on its left hand is a silver ring that has strange sigils etched on the inside of it if you take it from the hand. You feel no difference. <laughs> Plus one ring. Yeah. Uh, oh. Night is starting to fall. Carol, or I'm sorry, Rania. <laughs> uh, yeah. ugh, uh, cockroach is, yeah, yeah, it's still sitting there. Uh, everybody give me a D8 roll since this is the last night. Uh, six. Uh, let's see. Two. Seven. Two. 
nothing happens. Uh, however, uh, before the end of first watch, uh, Carol's love interest reappears <laughs> in tow with two of the war oxen, Devalions and Ties. Found these critters running loose. You got to be careful there. They make great basilisk food. Uh, have you changed your mind, my lovely? Try something once. You know. You got to pretend. This guy's been privacy. helpful. <laughs> he's been awful nice. Yeah. He's got a charisma of 10, so he's not, you know. Yeah, he's not he's, horrible. There's one big problem. And bow, it's bow, the bow, 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 bow. ownership really doesn't sit well with him. I, I, I don't think he's looking to own you for long term. I, I was about to say. Just for the night. <laughs> oh, God. You guys uh, are difficult because I know. Oh, I, God. I mean, have you ever been owned for the night either? Say the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. There you go. go. <laughs> make a wisdom save. Let's make yeah. a wisdom check. Oh. Oh, you know what? That's really bad. So, <laughs> <laughs> but at least make it to your tent. That's the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's gonna sneak up about you people, or she's gonna try. Right. Yeah, that'll work. So on her watch, she sneaks off to make sweet, sweet love in the cacti. <laughs> Teddy notices you walking away. <laughs> <laughs> I did roll a. Um, I did roll a. Six plus eight, 14 on my stealth check to sneak off. So, yeah, was that. not high enough. Probably <laughs> not. Not a great roll. Uh, fair enough. Uh, the next. Rainia, Rainia, I got some hepatitis potions if you need them on the <laughs> Probably will. Morning <laughs> dawns anew, and you notice Rainia making her. Shamble of shame. <laughs> he had a missus too. What? Did he say he had a missus? No, he did not. Oh, he's, all right. He's I a thought... bachelor, confirmed bachelor. Thought... Let's right. see what his performance role was. Seventeen. That's some sweet, oh sweet loving for you. <laughs> Just let me know, Rainy. I can cure disease. You know, it's those. It's the. We got you the covered. Really try their hardest. Rainia has tried something new and has lived to not regret it. As morning dawns anew, you may cross the fetid water on your own. How does Dewey uh, look? Is he good? Uh, rest in two, which is important. Uh, Dewey's okay. <laughs> Shazul. Sure. Uh, does he need more healing or is he? Oh, okay? yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will definitely uh, give him some more maggots to help. He didn't get, get, wait, he didn't get a long rest in? Yeah, he did. Okay. So, long rest I, gives him full hit points then, yeah? Yeah. So it's, an <laughs> it's an animal. It's an animal. Whatever. On top. Uh, you guys going to ride across the fetid water now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm Day three, Rainia. <laughs> What was the check again? Animal handling? Animal handling. Or Dex animal handling. Oh, that rolled off a 7 onto a 15. So 15. Apparently, your mount <laughs> likes your scent now. Yeah. <laughs> You're standing. Yeah, so, no. The chocolates or the... You know, oh. it's the box I have. Wait, does he like chocolate-covered cockroaches? Oh, you stuff. should try it. I will feed it to him. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna need more information because I I'm clueless. What is the uh, what's the quest for? for? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I got you now. Uh, that's fine. Uh, as you guys cross over, uh, the zing of arrows is heard. I look the yeah. direction came from. Like to hide underneath Dewey, or it's actually headed for Teddy Sod, but falls short. Uh, another hail of arrows <laughs> strikes the sand in front of you. Uh, sadly, because you are traveling into the east, the sun is far too bright, and you cannot tell. You can see a kind of outcropping of vegetation. We'll call it rainy land. Uh, 
set in front of some hills. It appears as though the archers are on those hills. Uh, I will PM Teddy. Everybody give me initiative. Uh. That's going to suck. <laughs> well, I was busy doing something else, so I rolled a five. <laughs> I rolled one. 30, 20. 30, 20. Knight. Uh, Sir Knight uh, rolls a um, 11, actually. Well, everybody but Dewey beats me. Uh, uh, may... My name's Teddy, thanks, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Fox. Uh, so, uh, we'll go ahead and start with a dirty 20. Uh, you're going to need to charge for a full round in order to get to the, uh, dog. And I forget what they called it in private Ryan, uh, the opening dog one or whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm debating if that's the, the, if that's the smartest move or I shouldn't get off my, get off my mount and and put him before it between me and the, the archers and for cover and walk that way. Walk that way. Yeah. I, I think you should or, walk. <laughs> double move or whatever. Okay. That's fair. Uh, you can cover more ground on your mount. I know, but then I'm also up here, but I'm also, but I'm doing it's that this. sweet, sweet loving that you are puzzled about, isn't it? No, no. You just, no. You, you just aren't yourself. She's, uh, she's just glowing. I was trying to do something different. Um, I feel like if I sit up on this mountain, I ride across, I'm just a sitting duck. But you are right. You go faster. Next up is uh, the 12. Okay. Ty. Double move on the mount. There you go. Ty, you're All right. up. Um, I guess I'll... Uh... Let's see. So you said that they were up on a cliff or they, so they're further away. We have to get to them. You have to get to them. Yeah. Unless you have area of effect spells. And then you can use your full movement and do your spell. But you can't see them because the sun's directly in your eyes and none of you have magic ray bands. <laughs> Yet. Yet. All right. Yet. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move my full movement um, in that direction. And while it's going, I'm going to cast Warding Wind on myself, which gives a 10-foot uh, radius all around me, a strong like 20-mile-an-hour wind <clears throat> that lasts for about 10 minutes. Um, and then all attack rolls of ranged attacks have disadvantage if the attacks pass in or out of the wind. So the wind so is extending heavy. out from you. Yeah, essentially, yeah. It's just like kind of creating like a vortex of wind spinning around me. Um, gotcha. and it deafens anyone in the area. It extinguishes any flames, makes fog and stuff go away. And then uh, it's difficult terrain for creatures other than me. Now, are you running or are, are you on your mount? Um, I guess I would say I would probably move the the full movement that I could on my mount. And then I'll go ahead and cast that. Gotcha. So you're even with Rainy is what I'm getting at. I couldn't do double movement. Or like okay. I'm not doing my action to do like a dash, if that's what you mean. I'm going to do the standard amount of movement that my mount does, and then I'll do Warding Wind. Gotcha. Uh, Devalion. Uh, uh, regulators, let's ride. <laughs> right, double or single? Uh double and I'll bonus action cast shield of faith faith and uh my does it blow doesn't... away <laughs> no, it <doesn't> <laughs> it's enough. a bubble at disadvantage there's one bowstring broken uh the arrows fly willy-nilly as ty's spell has adequately discharged enough turbulence in there uh, Teddy, uh, your attention now not diverted. What would you like to do? You're muted. Come on, Grandpa. Shut up. You're old. <laughs> You're old, man. Uh, I slide off of Dewey and I <laughs> feed him a potion of sweet water. <laughs> the potion of sweet water? sweet water? Yes. 
Okay, fair Just enough. Case. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, new, 15 new minutes round. in. <laughs> you know what? I knew you should have gone to town. <clears throat> new round, Dirty 20, Rainia. Or the Paladin, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, first up front in a fight. I, I guess he kind of is too, but um, I don't know. What are my options right now? You are on the plateau where you spot four hooligan types. They are halflings. Ask if one of them is Johnny Smith. <laughs> They're halflings too. Well, I, uh, you know, I'll call out. I will draw my weapons. Dismount because I can draw my weapons as a bonus action because I've dual wield. I'm gonna dismount. I'm gonna say, "Why are you shooting at us, you idiots?" Oh, insult them first. <laughs> yeah, good, good call. Hey, yeah, dick no. face, why are you shooting at me? That's a good, that's a, that's a good start. Yeah, I'd go with that. Be your friends, but you know, you just shoot at them. Why? Ty, you it's, stupid it's, stormtroopers. Ty, it's uh, it's going to take you another round to get up there since you didn't double dash, yeah. uh, but your uh, pass gas spell is still in effect. And it's kicking up a lot of turbulence. It's like a helicopter is landing on the pad. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead then and stay on the mount. Go the full the full distance uh, to get up there. Then you will be behind Rania, but you will not have any action left. Devalion, Big D, Uh, uh, double dashed, so you're there. Yeah, yeah, Uh, I'm at. Ground zero. We're ground zero with uh, the halflings. Four halflings and Rainia, and you hear Ty coming up behind you. Okay. And it's just like, halt, you hooligans. <laughs> you just got to leave it like that. So. Intimidation check. Yeah. <laughs> Intimidation. All right. Um, I'm too good looking to be intimidating. <laughs> sure, you can tell yourself that. That's cool. Six. Well, what a 19 charisma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a candy. That doesn't ass. mean good looking. Charisma just means you're nervous. It could be Ericol. Yeah. Yeah, that's Ericol true. Ericol Justice Man. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, they look at you puzzled. However, considering there are now three of you and three ferocious looking beasties, uh, Oh, sorry. We didn't realize you were humans. We are on track for the military trying to find food. Oh. Um, I, you couldn't tell we're humans? While they start talking, I'd like to pour the leech water into the uh, sweet water bottle. The dick. <laughs> <laughs> Since they're all busy, you know. And does Dewey look okay? <coughs> Yeah, looks great with the sweet water. Awesome. Uh, the warts on his tongue have started to fall off. Uh, meanwhile, the Dirty 20, uh, Rainia, you notice the four individuals uh, are very uh, apologetic. They seem genuinely uh, sorry for their actions. You also notice on the other side of the bluff uh, is the uh, rear guard of the military. We're looking for Teddy Smith. Oh, yeah, he's down there. But you better hurry. He's shipping out. Oh, okay. So let's go. Do I realize that he friggin' gave away the potion? Last time? Oh, no. No, no. Not fucking <laughs> yeah. You don't notice. You guys all charged. And he said, time to feed the ape. <laughs> uh, so you guys are going to, the, the halflings will lead you down, considering they only have a small passel of rabbits that they've been able to catch. Huge right. jackalope rabbits. Uh, Ty and Davalon, do you want to go down there? We're just going to keep pronouncing, mispronouncing your name. The whole time. Come up with a new way to pronounce it every, every turn. Yeah. Donald. Donald and Ty. Donald. Donald. <laughs> uh, so uh, what's the question again? Are we? Uh, Rainy is going to go down to where the rear guard is at and try and find Teddy. Would you guys like to accompany them or figure out why there's only three of you and not four? Um, I was gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make my way towards uh, Private Smith. <laughs> Ty, 
Um, I'm going to look around and kind of wonder where our Teddy went. And he, uh, He's plodding along towards the plateau in no particular hurry with his mount. Right. His gorgeous, full-maned Dewey yeah, accent. it is just glowing. It's like <laughs> it's like Fabio hair. <laughs> you know what? I think one of those basilisks that Pat brought with him uh, had a night with uh, Dewey here. You know what, Carol? Let's see if any of the halflings like you. <laughs> I can make. Hey, you know what? You know what? You None shot. of them like you. Yeah. Uh, they lead you down to uh, Saving Private Smith, and he is there, and he's like. Can I help you? Uh, Your mother sent us. Yeah, Granny Smith. My mother's sent us. dead. <gasps> my mother's dead. You Granny bitch. Smith. Thank no. you for ripping the scab right off of my <laughs> <He> soul. <smacks laughs> <her. laughs> uh, he now becomes Smith. unconsolable and starts to sob. Way to I'm go. Like, there, there, there. Uh, wait, wait, met, wait, wait, wait. Is this the actual Teddy Smith or is this. Uh, or is this Nathan Fillion? <laughs> <laughs> this is Nathan Fillion, yes. <laughs> Uh, well, brothers aren't dead. <laughs> you guys are dicks. Your grandmother uh, sent us. Granny my what? Smith. Your grand Granny Smith. Oh, oh! Did she send me a care package? I hope it's a sweater. It's terribly cold here at night. Yeah, she did. She 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 gave us this care package. Uh, it's with our fourth, who is apparently deciding right here. To right here. Doodle, doodle, doodle. I don't want Dewey to get hurt again. Uh, give me an investigation check, Carol, uh, Douglas, and Ty. Douglas. <laughs> nope, no idea. Investigation oh. check? Okay. Uh, ooh, net 20, 21. Ty? <laughs> Good for me, that's 10. <laughs> uh, D'Artagnan is the only one that notices <laughs> that Teddy's <laughs> mount is in fantastic shape never looked better looks and like i have my suspicions <laughs> it, it looks hey. like it's put on some muscle mass no one knew what was in the box it'll be fine yeah. uh, it's not gwyneth paltrow's head this time so we're okay uh teddy as you arrive on the fantastic looking dewey uh radio points out this is the guy that has the gift from your not dead mother but your grandmother oh my god your mother is dead Again, <laughs> kind of con- you're, you're sending him <laughs> into How long has you been Christ. rotting in the ground now? <laughs> you are such a <laughs> no, oh, if he's too busy lady, crying, he won't open up. Had her, her love of interest with Festus from Gunsmoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. All right, okay, Dewey, you going to turn it over to him? Yeah, your granny said that you had a gift for us in return. Yes. Uh, and he reaches down underneath his uh, le- studded leather armor and presents an amulet. Uh, okay, I'll I'll identify what the amulet is. Hey, I, uh, no. What? Rainia takes it. Yeah. Plus one amulet. I hand the box over. <laughs> he opens it up and he goes, fan. Fantastic! It is my potion of heroism. Don't worry, guys. This is going to go great. Uncorks it. <laughs> I will lead you into battle. Uh, Teddy later dies because he did not. In the, oh, in the voice uh, of Morgan Freeman, Teddy did not have the potion of heroism. <laughs> yeah, it could be like, it could be like but Ron he believed Weasley. he did. He did. It could be like Ron Weasley where he thought he had the elixir, elixir of luck. So yep. it made him feel like he was more lucky. So therefore he performed better and was able to. Yeah. Yeah, he actually, actually died in his tent later on <laughs> because he had swallowed several leeches. That- <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, did, 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 those things don't last forever. So, I mean, did, I mean, he really was. So he dies like five minutes from now. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, you guys have killed the hero. <laughs> oh, so, made God. sweet, sweet <laughs> love to Festus. <laughs> And nearly <laughs> lost your mounts. <laughs> so, you know what? I think our mounts came out better for it, though. I At least know. yours did. <laughs> and you know what? The producer loves us right now, as opposed to someone who's been trying to kill the ox. Yeah, uh, the producer hates it when I try and kill the mounts. <laughs> I persist. So, uh, so your 
quest was successful, albeit wrong. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. To deliver it, you now have four moderately healthy and one extremely healthy, healthy. and heroic uh, war oxen. Now you may go off and continue to become the heroes of legend. legend. Uh, Rainia, you will be getting missives from McGroin, uh as he hopes to see you again. How about we do final thoughts? We'll go in the same order. So, David, uh, final thoughts on this debacle. I, I love it, Kyle. You're a bastard. I swear. <laughs> it's awesome, though. That was awesome. 15 minutes on the dot. You were looking at the clock. You got to have a clock right there, man. <laughs> he does. He cheats. Mm-hmm. It's right uh, there on the screen. Yeah, yeah of course. Although it would be great if I could get like a background thing that had 15 minutes flash head counting. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, that be would good. be awesome. I, I no, actually I, think I have one. So. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, loved it. I thought it was great. Yeah, I enjoyed uh, it. I had fun. Good. Carol? Oh, my. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, you're right. Yeah, Kyle, you heard Dick. You really <laughs> <are>. <laughs> anything else though for the show and i think that's what no one is. asked me to play a straight good character no no one did. asked me I they just said know. no cannibals <laughs> are you like, capable of playing a straight good character because i kind of wonder oh no there's like several uh do clan members who are actually none of the do lawful clan good. Bull. Oh, well the jody way. jody's lawful good oh, jody is lawful the- good Sorry, I love the fact but that you he is saved for someone else. I love the fact you named the Mount Dewey, though, because I think that really screwed Frank. I almost killed it. Almost <laughs> killed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kyle, final thoughts. But just like the actual Dewey, you can't kill Dewey. But he did kill Dewey. Yeah, You're but Dewey came friend. back. Just <laughs> like this time, too. <laughs> Unless you were talking about this Dewey, and I mean the other Dewey, but the other Dewey died, but we brought him back. Travis, final thoughts. What'd you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure that Ty would have kind of noticed that something's a little murky in that potion that he gave him because uh, he has really high perception. He probably would have like whispered to uh, to our Teddy at some point be like, so uh, was that the actual potion? It looked kind of different. <laughs> Remember, I, I the potion imagine... was in a box. Potion was in a box. Oh, that's nobody, exactly how that. Yeah, that's right. nobody, nobody knew what the bottle looked like. Oh, by okay, never mind. Okay, then, uh, then, yeah, he would just go ahead and. Uh... No, trust me, I am a doctor, Ty. <laughs> I know exactly what these potions are supposed to look like. <laughs> and real quick, I shoot him in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I, I had, fun, right? had a lot of fun though. So yeah, is is a good time. Uh, right. Folks at home, this one was based indeed off of one of Kyle's ideas. Uh, I can't really remember what it was, but it was on uh, between the rolls back in December. What was it? Just it oh, it was, was the random uh, generator, wasn't it? Random mm-hmm. generator. I That's made right. a whole bunch oh. of random roll tables. Yeah, remember you had the giant scorpions in an urban environment, Carol. But we can no. talk about that later because we should probably get out of here. Otherwise, it's going to be over two hours. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's true. It's going to be over two hours. <laughs> Although folks, we did start early. That's true. So we're probably at 2.02. Yeah. Uh, folks, Dang. thanks for joining us uh, here on Murder Hobo Inc. We appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our cool stuff. Uh, the link is down there. If you want to join us in Discord and chat about D&D, uh, that link is down yeah. there. Uh, and of course, most importantly, if you want to enjoy join, a nice hot uh, Travis did probably never again because we probably torched him. Uh, <laughs> but uh, M uh. Hobo Inc. Uh, over on Twitter or over on Gmail, let us know. Uh, we'll get you in. Uh, we have the talk shows on Tuesday. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have one shots uh, sporadically throughout the week. Uh, join us tomorrow as the Margu campaigners, the Regeneration family uh, shows up again tomorrow. That is before Ty's uh, podcast. Ty, uh, give another shout out to the podcast for me, please. Um, oh, uh, the stream. Yes. Um, yeah, the stream is uh, at Talon and Claw on Twitch, and we're going to be just screwing around, Sea of Thieves, 
having some fun and being the best worst pirates. Nice. <laughs> there you go, folks. That's tomorrow night. So don't forget to take a look at that and catch it. Also, mm -hmm. thanks, Pirate Dog Dice, for giving us dice that didn't roll so great today for those guys. <laughs> <laughs> and mm -hmm. oddfishgames.com don't forget they've got their how to rpg with your cat 10 30 a.m eastern standard time tomorrow uh check out our twitter account for a link you gotta sign up but it is free so take a look at that with that being said let's get the hell out of dodge and let carol relish in the fact of festus uh wave and let's get the hell out of i hate you god i hate you bye everybody thanks for bye. See you later. Nice.